what differentiates your strategy from other global macro funds? Our characteristic is to focus on inflection points and do really well uh, at the early stage and the mid stage of trends uh, and somewhat underperform toward the end. So that's pretty useful to investors as uh, most, most investors do really well at the end of the trend and then got caught in, on the wrong side of the trend when it begins uh, and we do somewhat the opposite so we, we really do well in examples are for example 07 or 08 when the, the, the bull turned into a bear we made 42 and, and 26 uh, 07 or 08 and also 2011 um, and the year very challenging as well as bull market uh, when they started for example 09 we made 30 percent so very strong uh, at the beginning of new trends uh, even if they are unexpected and most people are positioned on the wrong side we have been very strong and we actually believe 2015 is going to be a big inflection point in a lot of assets, including risky assets and equities, especially US. Secondly, how do you think to generate money in 2015? We have uh, about five themes. Uh, one is definitely the persistent strength in US dollar. Uh, the, the rally has been exploited uh, in some respect in, in several currencies, including the euro and the Japanese yen. There are areas in Asia, however, where we believe uh, there's still a lot of space, for example, the uh, Australian, and in particular, the New Zealand dollar, where uh, interest rates uh, are still high, and we believe uh, the central bank will start an easing cycle very soon. It's about to throw the towel, because uh, Australia is already starting to cut interest rates, as well as China, and the, the New Zealand dollar is at all-time high versus the Australian dollar. So there's a lot of pressure, uh, and also a lot of economic exposure to Australia and uh, China indirectly uh, from the New Zealand economy. So we believe they will throw the top. Another theme is copper. Uh, we believe that demand uh, it is collapsing and will stay low for a prolonged period of time as China had a big, uh, a significant bubble in real estate and uh, it, it's busting. It will be, you know, we won't expect, we don't expect another 2008 in China for sure because they will uh, moderate the downturn. However, what's not going to happen is new construction. So the uh, demand for copper, uh, which was mostly related, especially additional demand, incremental demand from Chinese construction cycle, is going to be basically none for a couple of years. So we were short copper. Uh, we're bullish on European equities uh, as the multiple is, uh, you know, we don't look necessarily at the current multiple or next year earnings necessarily because we, we are aware of the fact that earnings are 50% lower versus peak, er peak earnings in 2007. So uh, if you normalize uh, the European equity as a lot of space, we know, everyone knows the other reasons, the quantitative easing, uh, negative interest rates which will uh, push people to sell fixed income and invest into equities. We're also bullish on uh, precious metal stocks and uh, uh, there are two positives besides the price of precious metals which we don't expect to move a lot but uh, crude oil has gone down, it's a cost for them and the production uh, of a lot of companies is South Africa, uh, in Canada and in, uh, in Russia and this kind of thing has gone down. So that leads to margin expansion, even if the price of metals uh, is, is flat. And estimates are pretty low there. Uh, there's been a lot of bearishness. We come out from a four year long bear market in the precious metal stocks. Um, lastly, uh, we, we believe there is be, going to be a significant correction in the, in the US asset class, in US equity in particular, due to the fact that the Fed is going to increase interest rates and the fear of it, uh, given valuation, uh, given the fact that in our view the, the US market held up only uh, almost entirely because of the latest intervention by ECB, uh, Bank of China and, uh, and the BOJ in November, uh, otherwise we would already be down, but there will be a, something similar in our, in our view bigger than 2013 uh, tightening scale. So we're, we're planning to short US equities. Finally, how much protection could, you, could uh, your fund offer in a bear market? 
uh, I mentioned a little bit before, you know, we, we've been really good, uh, particularly good in bear market. So uh, if there is a, a correction that uh, we don't expect a bear market like 07 or 08, uh, where, by the way, we really did well. Again, we, we made 42% in 07 and, and 26 in 08 net for investors, so huge gains. We don't expect that now, but we do expect something bigger than last year. We expect something bigger than the last three years. So uh, in 2011, we made 18. Obviously, as uh, high achievers and Sibela, we want to beat our own track record. So we definitely look to make money on the downside, and we expect you know 10-15% in the S&P.